Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Yemeni President Abid Rabbu Mansour Hadi has dismissed Brigadier Amal Mohammed Abdullah Saleh from his role as a military attaché in Ethiopia. The brigadier is the nephew of former President Ali Abdullah Saleh. The discharge comes as a former Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula informant had revealed to Al Jazeera that he and his uncle were allegedly involved in a deadly 2008 attack on the U.S. Embassy in Sana'a conducted by Al Qaeda. The Red Cross has come under fire as news agency ProRepublica and NPR have revealed that the $500 million in donation it collected to rebuild IT after 2011 earthquake were used to build only six houses. The report suggests that a large portion of the money was attributed for generous salaries to Red Cross employees rather than the house building program. The Red Cross project was aimed to provide homes to more than 130,000 people. Human Rights Watch has urged UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to add Israel to the annual list of shame of children's rights violators after more than 500 children were killed in the Israeli attacks on Gaza in 2014. The U.S.-based rights group called on Ban to resist pressure from Israel and the United States to keep the Israeli army off the list. Philippe Bolopillon, Crisis Advocacy Director at Human Rights Watch, insisted that Ki Moon can strengthen child protection and war by compiling his list based on facts, not political pressure. The list is due to be released next week. A number of climbers are trapped on Mount Kinabulu in Malaysia's Sabah state of Borneo Island after a 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck. The Malaysian Tourism Minister Masidi Manjun said that rescuers were still trying to reach the 137 climbers trapped on the mountaintop with weather conditions making the rescue operation difficult. Thanks for watching Istanbul.